And he was saying that the happiness industry is actually stopping you doing social action. But then it was quite easy for me to see that, well, sir, you are actually saying that social action, that's part of the happiness industry as well. Instead of actually just changing your attitude, you're changing the situation. Again, it's trying to create this happiness in this world. Can you do it? it is the subject of this talk this evening. Can you be happy? Or is there something inherently wrong with the system? That no matter what you do with your relationship, no matter what you do with your body, no matter what you do with your mind, that there's going to be problems, suffering. And this melds very clearly and very wonderfully with a event which is coming up on Sunday. On Sunday we're having our entry to the range retreat, but for once it's on a full moon day on Sunday. And in Buddhist world it's called Asalha Puja Day. The ceremony on the full moon day of the lunar month of Asalha, which is July. And it recognizes an important event in the history of Buddhism. And that was the event where the Buddha gave his very first teaching in the deer park at Benares. And it was called, the teaching was called the first, no, actually the turning of the wheel of Dhamma. And it started Buddhism off. I know that there are other parts of Buddhism which actually say, well that was only the first turning of the wheel, and later on he did a second turning and a third turning. And I just wanted to make the point that uh, there was no second or third turning. To think if there was something more which the Buddha never taught was both anachronistic, in other words, it doesn't fit into the time scale of Buddhism, and uh, nor is it rational. And I know that some people still do say that, but really, anyone who is reasonable, logical, who faces the evidence, who investigates and goes according to the facts rather than belief, will find such ideas untenable.